Hello and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be a what I eat in the day. I go through food phases like it's nobody's business. So what I'm showing in this video today could be different a few days from now, a few weeks from now, or a few months from now. It just kind of depends on how fast I kind of get sick of what I'm eating. Today, I haven't eaten anything yet, but I do need to get a quick workout in. I'm not going to the gym today. I'm just going to work out at home today. Now, sometimes I will eat something in the morning before I work out. Today is not one of those days. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling really hungry, I won't go to the gym on an empty stomach because I don't obviously want to get there and get like dizzy and pass out. So as I said, it all kind of just depends. And then also on some days I will have my caffeine as like a pre-workout before I work out. But when I'm working out from home, if I don't have caffeine here, I'll just work out first and then go get caffeine afterwards. But one thing I always, always, always make sure to do in the morning is to drink water. This is the 32 ounce hydro flask and I try to drink like three of these a day. I'm not gonna lie, lately I have been slacking but that's always my goal so I am going to have some water before I work out and then obviously bring it with me for my workout. So I just got done with my super quick indoor cycling workout and I'm about to have my first meal which is three scrambled eggs and I kind of eyeballed it but I'm guessing about one and a half to two tablespoons of ketchup. It's all splattered because there was like no ketchup left in the bottle so I was like squeezing what was left to get the rest out of it. I always like to have protein as soon as I'm done working out or as close to the completion of my workout as possible just because protein is super important for you and to be honest I do not get enough protein so I really try to be conscious about protein throughout my days but this meal is about 240 ish calories I never put anything in my scrambled eggs it's literally just the eggs and I will insert a little screenshot of my fitness pal which is the tracker I use to track my food in the app it says that I should eat about 1200 calories but I'm gonna be honest that's not enough for me I'm like starving at the end of the day so I typically eat about like 18 to 1900 calories a day instead and that's what works for me so that's what I do I haven't showered yet from my workout and I just went to Starbucks quick to get my daily dose of caffeination it is raining outside so if you hear that I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up I'm sure it is though but ignore that today I actually decided to try a new drink it is the caramel brulee latte and i have to be honest i know like some people say you cannot go get starbucks it's not healthy for you but i learned from whitney simmons that you know everybody has a different definition of what healthy is and that is completely okay so for me i like to indulge when it comes to my coffee because i do not drink coffee unless it tastes like a little pastry so i let myself have an indulgent coffee every day and that's what works for me but i do recommend if we're going to do that to skip on the whipped cream so the caramel brulee latte for a grande is about 410 calories but then if you subtract calories for the whipped cream i believe the whipped cream at starbucks is about 100 to 130 calories so let's just say that this Starbucks drink is about 300 calories. I'll put another screenshot of my fitness pal here with a more precise calorie count. Do not feel pressured to count calories just because that's what I do. I count calories mostly, but I also look at my macronutrients and some days I don't count calories at all. It just kind of depends on my mood and depends on the day because again, that's what works for me and what works for other people is gonna be different. So I'm going to enjoy this coffee. Actually, let's do a little taste test. Ooh, it's hot. I think I just burnt my tongue. I definitely have like the caramel flavoring. But that is definitely really, really good. It's more coffee-ish than say like a peppermint mocha because the chocolatey mocha flavor just kind of takes over in that drink. This is really good. It's a nice kind of change. So I'm going to enjoy this and then obviously I will show my next meal. It is... 3.41 and I'm having my second meal of the day. It is a HelloFresh meal. Recently, in the past like three weeks, 
almost every day, I'll have a HelloFresh meal for either lunch or dinner. Today, it happens to be my lunch, even though it's a kind of late lunch. And I am trying the creamy dill chicken with roasted potatoes and asparagus. So it just looks like this. It looks so good. Here is what the recipe card looks like. I would say I did a pretty decent job. Alrighty, let's do our little tasty test. Also, like, how cute is our tree? That was a plain piece of chicken. I think I might have overcooked it just a little bit, so that's my fault, but it's still really, but it's still really good. The sauce that's on top is so good. I can like taste the Dijon mustard. Now I'm going to try some potatoes with the sauce on it. I mean, seriously, like you cannot go wrong with baked potatoes. Mm. I'm sorry, these are not baked potatoes, they're roasted potatoes. Now for the asparagus. Mm. I have always been an asparagus fan. It's probably in my top like three for greens and for veggies. So highly recommend asparagus, it's so good. I'm going to finish this meal off camera and then I have no idea what the next meal is gonna be. Literally, absolutely no idea. So when I know, you'll know. Also, I completely forgot to mention that one serving of the creamy dill chicken is about 460 calories, which is really good. Typically, the HelloFresh meals that I go for are like seven to 800-ish calories. That's a really good amount, especially for more of like a lunch meal. I'll insert another screenshot of where I'm at on my fitness pal right here. Also, I just wanted to say that in the month of December, I get to have a little piece of chocolate every single day, which is so fun. It's always something to look forward to as a kid and as an adult, of course. And depending on if I accidentally skip a day, I'll eat one or two of these and they're about like 11 or 12 calories a piece. Say hi to my vlog. Hi vlog. I was telling her that this is my what I eat in a day video and she'd be so proud of me because I haven't had any donuts yet. But for dinner today, since I had a pretty big lunch, we have a mango magic smoothie. What are you getting? Chick-fil-A. Do you feel awkward? Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> laugh when I watch this and see myself. This is about like 400-ish calories. So like I've been doing, I'll put like the little screenshot of the MyFitnessPal tracker right here. And for the last little snack of the day, I'm just having a Weight Watchers mug cake mix fudge brownie. And I actually had two servings of this in here. So two little packets of the fudge brownie mix heated up in the microwave with half a cup of vanilla Neapolitan ice cream. So this is going to be the last thing I eat for today. And like I've been doing, the tracker that I use will pop up right here. I've already had a few bites and the ice cream is clearly melting, but it is so, so good. And just like that, the day is over and so is this video. It was a really good day. I'm super, super proud of myself. I did my best to eat as healthy as I could, but I also let myself have some healthier versions of some snacks. So like the Weight Watcher brownie. I let myself have that Starbucks coffee without the whipped cream. Really, it's all about a balance. You cannot completely deprive yourself of something that you love because then one day you might just flip a switch and binge eat a lot of it. And you know, I've definitely experienced that and it's not a good feeling. So a healthy, balanced lifestyle and having those junk foods in moderation is what it's all about. And always remember that your definition of healthy is different than mine and different from somebody else's. So whatever works for you is what works for you. And that is that. Stick by what works for you. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. That's going to complete this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite healthy meal is. I would love to know. I love trying out new recipes and new snacks. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. It would mean the world. I know I keep saying that, but it really does mean the world because I love making content. I really love being creative. And you could also press the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified of all of my future uploads. So with that being said, I will see you in my next video. Bye.